Hey, this is Paul Colligan, and in this quick video, I'm going to show you how to set up a live event at YouTube.com. You need to be logged into YouTube. Once you're logged into YouTube, head to YouTube.com forward slash my live events, and you'll see the screen we see here. Now, as you can see, there are no existing upcoming events, so let's set one up. We're going to click on the new live event button. That brings up this screen. Now, this screen is for both a Google Hangout on Air as well as a YouTube live event. The title of the event. Paul examines podcasting. Um, you can set it for today. You can set it in the future. You can set it for whatever time you want. You want to give it a description. I'm going to give it some tags. Um, from there, you have three decisions. Is Well, you have a number of decisions. The first one has three points. Is it a public event? Is it an unlisted event or is it a private event? A public event is, as you can see here, anyone can search for and view the event. This goes for a YouTube live event or a Google Hangout on air. An unlisted event is a event that requires someone have the link. They don't have to be logged in. They don't have to have a Google account. They just need to know the link. Essentially, it's a public event that's just not searchable. I mean, someone can't find it by looking for it. The last event is the private event that is integrated with uh, names and circles and email addresses tied closely into the YouTube system and the Google Plus system. This particular case will do a public event. And when you announce the public event, it has complete social integration, allowing you to share it to Google Plus, Facebook, and Twitter if these events are, if these social accounts are tied to your account. From there, you go to the category. You pick the category of your event. In this particular case, it will be education. Now, at this point, you have two types of live events that happen here inside of YouTube. The first one is quick using Google Hangouts on air. At that point, you can then just use your webcam. You can use the microphone on your computer or an external microphone. If you want to go something deeper, you want to go into YouTube Live, you simply click on the custom button, and then it gives, as you can see here, more coding options, including the very popular live cast for YouTube, which is a free platform for doing a live YouTube event. Once you've decided that you're going to go quick, um, one thing that YouTube does on occasion is resets the number, uh, resets the time, so you might want to go fix that. Once you are done, you click create the event. At that point, your event is created. That is all you have to do. That is all that is required of YouTube to make this happen. On the day you are ready to go, you go ahead, click the Start Hangout on Air button, and go from there. If it's a YouTube Live event, the Hangout on Air button isn't available. It takes you immediately to the broadcast room. That is how little effort it takes to set up live on YouTube. And now that you've seen how easy it is, I hope you'll start doing it for yourself soon. Thank you so much. Talk to you soon. Bye.